Volcano alert. U.S. volcano alert for eight now being monitored after the major California earthquakes. This is by Sean Martin of Express UK Today's article. Well, we know that the USGS came a few months ago giving us a list of volcanoes that were a high threat. There are 161 known active volcanoes in the United States. 161 known active and 18 of them pose a very high threat of death and destruction to Americans living nearby according to a new volcanic risk report released by the USGS, US Geological Survey. This was released on October 26th of last year and there are 18 US volcanoes considered very high threat according to the government agency. The, geological, the uh, U.S. Geological Service includes volcanoes from Hawaii to California on the danger list. Its first updated threat assessment since 2005. The, uh, they have classified 18 U.S. volcanoes as very high threats because of their activity and proximity to people and USGS updated the volcano threat. Danger lists the top by Hawaii's Kilauea, which has been erupting. Last year it erupted, it stopped uh, before the fall. Others at the top of the five are Mount St. Helens, which has a tremendous amount of activity in earthquake swarms lately. Mount Rainier, Washington, Alaska's Redoubt Volcano, California's Mount Shasta. Now, we have uh, Mount Hood also working up. It's very active lately. Now, this report may come as a surprise, but volcanologists said Concord University volcano expert Janine Krippner says the U.S. is one of the most active countries in the world when it comes to volcanic activity. And she was noting that there have been 120 eruptions in U.S. volcanoes since 1980. And most Americans don't even know that. Kilauea, of course, most active in the United States. Um, now, there are 11 of the 18 very high threat volcanoes are in the Oregon, Washington, and California region. The highest threat volcanoes, Mount, uh, Washington's Mount Rainier, has the highest number of people in the downstream hazard zone with 300,000 people. Flagstaff, Arizona is on the border of the large San Francisco volcanic field. Uh, we know that uh, Clear Lake volcanic field is just north of San, uh, San Francisco. We've just now, the video before this one has about uh, today's quakes or 21 little quakes in the geysers area, which are the Clear Lake area, volcanic field area. And um, so many of these volcanoes in the Cascades and Oregon, uh, Washington area directly are monitored beyond one or two uh, seismometers. Now, because of past active activity, we have Alaska volcanoes, of course, tend to have more extensive monitoring. They have a, an observatory as well there. And um, because of the recent earthquakes in California, which are also in a volcanic field, a cost, the Coso uh, uh, volcanic field, uh, which the USGS listed as moderate threat and not high threat or very high threat. So now, having to do with the uh, volcanoes being monitored, the eight volcanoes along the west coast of the US monitored by scientists because of the series of earthquakes and aftershocks, thousands every day in Southern California. And of course, they're in the Coso volcanic field. The uh, powerful earthquake, they're registering 6.4, and on July 5th, 7.5, the major quake. While the tremors, uh, the big ones, that is, seem to be dying down. Experts believe that the uh, aftermath of this earthquake activity could somehow tick off volcanic eruptions. Researchers noted that three faults lie 
under the surface of California, the San Andres Fault, the Hayward Fault, and the San Jacinto Fault all have suddenly sprung into action this past week because of these earthquakes. There you go. That's why we have more earthquakes along, especially we noted on the San Andreas Fault, from the, north, from the south all the way to the north. This has led to theories that something even deeper may be occurring, and it may be magma activity. This is exactly what Terrell Blackstar, in a couple of videos before this one you'll see, comes out with the fact that the, Van the Vancouver 6.2 quake on July 3rd uh, at the subduction zone uh, could have been the um, tectonic earthquake, whereas the South California seemed to be magma activity, volcanic earthquakes. And of course, they're in the Coso field, uh, just a few miles down from something called Volcano Peak Volcano. You know, and uh, that's uh, moderate also field moderate threat, well not moderate threat anymore it seems, because these aftershocks and quakes seem to be heading north, and not far from that is the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano area, Mono Inyo craters of the south of the uh, Long Valley Caldera. Now the scientists are monitoring eight volcanoes in California because of this earthquake activity recently. And uh, they could become active due to the recent earthquakes if their theory, if the theory proves to be true. So if the volcanoes, five of them, Mount Shasta, Medicine Lake, Alaska, Long Valley, Caldera, Supervolcano, and the Salton Buttes all the way down uh, south of California, just above the Mexican border, have not erupted in the last 3,000 years. Yeah? So... Another of them, the Clear Lake Volcanic Field near San Francisco, has not erupted in an even longer time frame. Well, we just saw a couple of videos before this, we saw 21 quakes today alone. Um, and that has the largest uh, geothermal area uh, in the world. Now, this would mean that uh, the pressure and the tension that has been building under the surface of California for a thousand years is somehow relieving itself, starting to uh, shake up the area. And also we know that the Garfield and San Andreas faults are locked like a zipper formation. They seem to be unzipping and unlocking. Recent U.S. geological activity, uh, the study reads, the potential for damaging earthquakes, landslides, floods, tsunamis, and wildfires is widely recognized in California. The same cannot be said for volcanic eruptions, even though they occur in the state about as frequently as the largest earthquakes on the San Andreas Fault." End quote. Now with the San Andreas being active recently, scientists are worried now that the volcanoes could also become active again. Scientists said that the latest earthquakes will not lessen the chances of the big one. This is Dr. Lucy Jones who has said that very clearly over and over again. She says, just because this has happened it doesn't mean that the San Andreas is not ready to give the big earthquake. So a proposed major earthquake, which will one day rock the West Coast, a big one, is still to come. This is according to Dr. Lucy Jones. She says, this does not make the big one less likely. There's about a 1 in 20 chance that this location will be having an even bigger earthquake in the next few days that we have not yet seen the biggest earthquake of the sequence. Some aftershocks will probably exceed 5 magnitude, which means they'll probably be damaging. So uh, we've regularly had about 4, just like I just announced that there was a 4.1 in the area. So they are not, they are not small, and heading north. They are not that small. And there's thousands. I think, uh, let me just check the number. What is it today? What is it standing at? Okay, it's at 1,646 in the area today alone, okay, and 83 in the area of California, of, uh, sorry, of uh, Alaska. So um, this is basically the first I've heard of geologists coming out and clearly saying that there could be an uptick in volcanic activity 
in the high threat and even the moderate threat, the Costco volcanic field, uh, volcanoes that they have listed. And uh, people have to be prepared for this. And more to come. Any more details? This is always more details coming out every day. And I'll keep you informed. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.